Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna sit here and talk about President Barack Obama. Everybody loves Obama. Not everybody, actually. It's the complete opposite of the truth. I actually didn't vote for Obama. I honestly didn't give a shit. It's the person that I was with at the time wanted me to vote for Obama. I wasn't gonna vote at all, and she wasn't old enough to vote. But the shit that was before I got into politics and the whole process of what's going on. All I knew is he was a black guy, and everybody wanted to vote for him because he was black. And I was like, whatever. Over the years, I've actually started paying attention to politics, and I realized there's a lot Obama promised that he didn't necessarily do. He didn't compromise a lot, but he has also helped a lot. Best, Ice Cube said that, you know how when you're cleaning out your closet? You know, when you clean out your closet, you got to dig everything out, dig everything out, clean it up, and then put everything back. So Obama's only been in office for four years. He's in the middle of cleaning out the closet. After all of that shit that Bush gave us after them eight years, He's going to need at least eight years to fix that shit, if not longer. So who's ever after Obama is still probably going to be cleaning up. Bush is bullshit. Uh, There's also things Obama's done. Maybe I should have did some research. Very horrible at this. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was the Obama administration is saying that his stance is evolving. He thinks that they had there should be gay rights and it's evolving. But... My big problem is who who cares if a gay person wants to marry another gay person? Why does it matter to you? It's not going on to you. It has no effect to you. If you're not gay, then what the hell do you care? Why we have a whole lot more important things to be worried about than discussing whether or not two people should be allowed to marry. I think it's stupid. I think it's pointless. And we could definitely be more focused on other things, such as this whole global warming issue. Politicians are completely ignoring. The war is ridiculous. We're supposed to be getting the troops out. Why is it taking so long for us to get the troops out? Why are we still over there just to fucking, for what? To fucking help them establish their democracy, but they don't even want us there. They don't want us there. So why are we still there? I think that's an excellent fucking question. Our economy is fucked. Trying to get that shit back together. I mean, we're starting to create jobs. Actually, we've been creating jobs for a long time now, thanks to Obama. Because they want to lower taxes for that top 1% so they can have more money in their pocket so they can create jobs. Now, to me, that doesn't even make sense. If I'm going to have more money, uh, you honestly think some rich fuck Republican is going to create jobs just out of the kindness of his heart? Because he has more money, he can create more jobs? No, we need to raise taxes on them. They have a lot more money. Why am I paying more taxes, struggling in my two-bedroom apartment, while I got rich niggas who are getting ridiculous tax breaks? Ridiculous tax breaks. It's insane. I think it's fucking stupid. But it's enough of that. I kind of realize that I think that I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm definitely actually gonna vote for Obama. Yeah. Shit like I was saying before this nigga fucking showed up, just showing up at my house and shit, not calling niggas and shit. I'm gonna vote for Obama this year. I think I'm gonna do it because uh, it's much better than fucking Mitt Romney. I can't stand that nigga. Anything say you wanna say anything about Obama or show the nigga some love or something? Maybe nigga. No. Are you gonna vote for him though? It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Obama needs to make shit happen. You agree with? What well, Obama has done, or you just pretty much agree with the shit I was saying? Um, I agree with the shit you were saying. Like, it will take a lot more time for him to actually make progress. God damn, progress is too slow right now. Entirely too slow. Money's not coming into my pockets fast enough to have the patience for his progress. <laughs> and it's getting frustrating. Yeah. I understand. I understand that Romney's probably not going to do any damn better. You. But <laughs> I need shit to happen. I need shit to start. You know, because Republicans are in all of the rich people's pockets. All of these fucking companies, they have all, all of the CEOs and the celebrities and all of these rich millionaires. They pay for the Republicans to fucking, um, for their campaign. So if I pay for your campaign, you're going to help me out with yeah, what I want laws you want you to pay. That's what it is. Give me a tax break, I'll help pay for your campaign. So that's exactly what it is. Obama's probably going to win. I hope he does. I plan on voting for him. Tony said it. He's going to vote for him. 
So about 80-20, I'm gonna go for 80-20. I'll make sure I put some connotations for this nigga so y'all can follow him and and, and I ain't got no vlog or anything like that. Yeah, just, he he, just he might nigga. yeah, he might be just a pretty nigga. <laughs> might be in some of my other videos. Maybe. Oh most definitely. Definitely. But I will have some of my friends in my videos. It's not just gonna be my face. I have some gorgeous women too. Stay tuned. <laughs> Trying to chase, making money off of rhymes is great. But when I'm out, I gotta hide my face. Um, also, the war. I mean, I said that already. I'm in grace, and I'm handsome from my daddy's face. Now I'm standing in my daddy's place.